Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to post to Instagram using your desktop computer. So let's open up the web browser. I'm just on my website now. So I just want to go and show you this, this new project that I've been working on quickly. So let's just find this project. It's called this one here, Buck London, right? So this is a uh, hip hop music artist, UK music artist. And uh, I know him quite well, and he's doing some really good things on YouTube. So go and check out his music. Uh, we'll have a quick look at his website. So here you can see the new website that I've built for him. So if you like to listen to sort of hip hop, UK hip hop music, you can check out his videos. Check him out on YouTube. Also got his like uh, Apple Music and his Spotify here. So do check him out. Have a little listen to his music. See what you think, and um, yeah, try and follow him on YouTube. So let's go back to the website. The goal of this video is to take these images. So I've got this image here, I've got this description, and I've got this picture here. So I want to get this content onto Instagram. Now normally you would have to go and take this to your phone and then drag it from your phone to Instagram. It was a bit long-winded, right? So let's close down this web browser, this part, and I'm going to be on my Facebook page here. I'm going to click on videos here, videos. And when I click on videos, it's going to load up all the videos that I have. And I'm going to click on video library here. So when I click on video library, I'll get access to Creator Studio here, Creator Studio. So I'm going to click on that and it takes me over to Creator Studio. I'm going to click on the Instagram icon at the top here. So it might say Instagram IGTV now publish available. So you can see, click try publish and schedule post to Instagram IGTV from Creator Studio. I'll click try it now and all it will do is take me to this tab here. So this is all Facebook stuff. This is Instagram. This is the Instagram Creator Studio. So it's quite a new thing that's that's you know been, not been out for very long. So I'm going to click on create post and I'm going to select Instagram feed. So when I click Instagram feed, it says write your post. So let's go to this directory here on my computer. We've got this directory. Let's split the window side by side. It'll be a bit easier. And I'm going to open up this text file and it's just got the written description that I want to put in there. So I'm just going to select all of this, copy it and paste it into here. Just talking about this project. Uh, some good things in there, right? So we can close that, add location. We might as well put London. Let's see if we can put London in here. London, just put London, generic London, I guess. will be fine. And then it says add the content. So I'm going to click add content from file upload. From file upload because I want to upload those particular images. So we're going to go into here and select all of these images, select them all, and then click open. It's going to add them to this post, right? So here you can see all of the four images. If we scroll across, we'll see them here. So now we just want to get that onto Instagram. And this is the really nice thing, right? You can post it straight to your um, Facebook. So I'll tick this option. We'll go and check it on Facebook. It says additional details can be added to, to your Facebook after you've published. To Instagram and um, here it says the publish button but you can click on this drop down and actually schedule it so you can click schedule and then you can give it a specific time and date to schedule that post so if you know you've got lots of people interacting with you on Instagram at around 12 p.m. every day or midnight or whenever it is in your in your particular location then um, you can schedule the post which is quite interesting it was really difficult to do that before you couldn't do that now you can actually schedule so you can do 20 different posts on Instagram and have them posted out on different days throughout the whole week you just click the calendar select a different day select the time and you're good to go but I'm going to click publish now publish now and click publish and then it says your post is being published to Instagram and Facebook so let's go back to this tab and I'm going to go back to my Facebook page and let's just drag that to the side and I'm going to go to Instagram as well, my Instagram page. And here you can see the post, right, on Instagram. Literally, this is what we've just posted. If I click on it, we can see the images slide across and you've got the thumbnail of the uh, the website here. So that's all done, right? It was pretty simple, pretty easy. And I remember, I could have scheduled that post and then you've got a link to his website here and a link to Buck London's Instagram account. And we can go over to Facebook, and if we scroll down here, um, we should see the Facebook post right here. You can see the same post that I put on Instagram, and it's got the links that are active. You click on this link, it will take you to Buck London's uh, Facebook page, uh, website, and this one will take you to his Instagram page, right? But with Instagram post itself, you can't have active links. These links are not clickable, unfortunately. But at least you can put them there, and people can go and search for Buck London, and then follow him. Uh, and find out what he's doing in terms of music, right? So that's nice and easy. 
a nice quick way for you to get posts on here. What's really important is that you can actually schedule the posts in here. So you don't have to post straight away. If you check the link in the YouTube description, I've already shown you how to do Instagram TV. So you can take your YouTube content. So if I go over to Instagram TV here, you can see all the Instagram TV posts that I've been publishing quite recently. If I go over to my channel and click on Instagram TV, you can start to see I've uploaded tutorials on how to do different things like Blender stuff. And here's, a, here's one about Instagram TV via the uh, Creator Studio, right? It's a very interesting stuff, different way to work. And most importantly, you can schedule now. That's For me, that's most important. And you can look at the different types of content. So here you can click videos, you see videos. Here you can click photos, and you just see photographs individually. Here you can click carousel. You can see all the different carousels. You've got the stories lined up here, and then you've got your IGTV here. So all the tabs going across like that, and the same thing applies for Facebook, right? Go to content library, then you can see the publish, the schedule, the drafts, and everything across there. And here you can see the Buck London. Uh, post right here okay so i hope you find that interesting go and test it out uh, if you've got any problems feel free to uh, drop me a, a comment in the youtube commenting or facebook commenting if you're watching this on facebook and also don't forget to go and watch the other video that i'll put in facebook that other video is all about creating posts for instagram tv it's a different workflow and a different logic but it's worth learning as well because now you can start to get up to one hours of content onto Instagram TV. So you can post videos that are an hour long in duration. So it's good for tutorials. But if you want to do loads of short videos as well, and you want to publish them, especially on a on a schedule, so maybe one video today, tomorrow, next week, and one Instagram post today, and so forth, then you can follow my tutorials, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, just check the YouTube description. Uh, and you'll see the link there for Instagram TV. And today we've covered Instagram feed. And that one was about posting uh, image-based content, right? Image-based content like this one here. Okay, let's minimize this. Let's close this. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.